As some of you who are my online followers and students are aware of, the human race is heading for some really big problems, and soon. I have several close friends who are quite psychic, in addition, in addition to one seer, and they are all getting warnings about an impending catastrophe, which looks like it will be a bigger war than has ever been seen before. This time, the entire world will become involved, including your country. Plus, a new and much stronger virus is being prepared. A serious student told me that what the world needs now is more enlightened people right away and asked me to help. What I can do about it is to present a spiritual aspect of the Taoist practices that lead to fast enlightenment. When the communists took over in China, they killed all their spiritual masters and effectively destroyed their spiritual heritage. The only source of this information now comes from the highest level masters of Qigong who escaped China before the big calling. I have seen many types of Qigong and Tai Chi, and while most of them are good for health, they are missing the spiritual aspect. The spiritual aspect has been lost and or hidden. I was very lucky to have been given a most powerful and complete Taoist spiritual cultivation practice by a master who left China before the Cultural Revolution. So this is to inform you about an ancient and rare practice, which is a fast path to achieving enlightenment. <clears throat> there are two parts. One is Chen Shan He Kung, and the other is Zan Zhuang, Standing Meditations focused on cultivating qi power and spiritual growth. There are a lot of books on Zen Zhuang, but they are full of detours. The book Zen Zhuang Power Secrets give you the methods that are important, but even more important, it teaches you how these methods work together to achieve the fastest results so that you understand what you're doing and why, something you will not find in other books. As an example, my number one student has had his enlightenment experience only seven months after starting the practice of Tian Shan Qi Kung and Zan Zhuang. One important point is he was practicing three hours a day. So if you're serious, you need to practice a lot. I'm not doing this for the money. I already have these, this information out there. I'm doing it because I was asked to help. However, my teacher told me to never teach for free, and the information is actually rare and valuable. In closing, I will read to you a quote from a master, Pak Dong Sun. Around 5,000 years ago, Tian Shan monks, having reached the highest level of skill, were looking for like-minded people and went south, extending their knowledge. This knowledge is popularly known these days as the Tibetan teachings of Bon, yet it has its roots in the Taoist Qi Kung from Tian Shan. Bon is known as the most powerful school of magic and wonder in the world. In its original version, Tian Shan was extreme, with the practitioners undertaking certain risks for the sake of attaining superpowers. When the Tian Shan monks reached Tibet, they encountered the school of Bon, the strength of which was in its methodology, but the practice was rather weak. From the unification of these two was born the most strongest spiritual system of development of superhuman characteristics. In the history of mankind, the heritage of practices of Tian Shan has left a trace in the constellation of the brightest names of enlightened masters, Tila Ropa, Naropa, Marpa, Milarepa, and Gambopi. In the present, to answer the question of the origins of their spiritual mastery, Lamas, Buddhist, Tibetan, Nepalese, and Chinese Qigong masters claim that their knowledge originated in the place which is called Jung Jung, Sheng Sheng, or Tang Sheng. But these names mean the same in Chinese, Tian Shan. Even the mythical country of Shambhala is a particular place of the same name in the Tian Shan Mountains if translated from the local dialect, means mountain spring or wonderful source. 
in our time, a place of beauty and an amazing ski resort.